Come check out this and other products at our showroom in San Diego or online at www.fitdir.com. Remove the monorail from its box like this so that it doesn't get stuck as you take it out. Remember to leave the tablet in its box for now. You'll come back to it later. Now you're going to remove the block from the end of the monorail. This wooden block was attached for packaging and shipping, so removing it is an essential step before you carry on with the assembly. Once the wooden block is removed from the monorail, you must attach the rear leg. Position your body like this to make this section easier. Now you're going to attach the end of the monorail to the angled ends of the subrails. When you screw in the JCN nuts and JCB bolt, make sure they fit like this. Don't tighten the bolts all the way just yet. And now you're ready to place the tank between the subrails. When you attach the JCN nuts and JCB bolts, make sure that they fit securely like this. Congratulations, you have successfully assembled the core of your rower. Remove the bolts, K, from the back of the footboard. You'll use these bolts again later. For more support as you place the footboard on the rails, you can unlatch the arm and use the handlebar to prop it up, like this. You might want to slightly loosen the two bolts to allow footboard clearance. This is what a good fit looks like. In this step, you'll screw the handle rests and bolts through the top of the footboard. Insert the handle rests and bolts through the top of the footboard and into the riv nuts from step four. Make sure you have the right fit. The bolts should be secured like this, so be careful not to make them too tight. Screw the clamp bar bolt, I, to tighten the footboard to the monorail. For this step, two of the bolts that you removed earlier in step four are going to be used. For this step, stand your rower upright like this. Then insert the bolts into the footboard brackets like this. Here's a tip. Keeping the bolts loose while you assemble the parts will help the bolts and rib nuts to align more easily in the footboard. Locate the U in the rail sub bracket here. Now, insert the sub bracket through the U like this. To screw in the rail sub bracket underneath the footboard, use the two leftover bolts, like this. Up to now, these bolts have not been tightened yet. Now, circle back to the loose bolts and make sure that all of them are neatly aligned before you tighten them. Now you're going to attach the recoil belt to the bungee hook. The belt runs below and behind the pulley here. Next, attach the D-ring on the recoil belt to the bungee hook, like this. Now you're ready to release the tablet arm of your rower. Put your machine back down into the rowing position, like this. Now you're going to lift the mounting bracket latch like this. Push down on the tablet arm with one hand. With your other hand, release the middle locking latch like this. 
Next, you'll have to secure the tablet arm. Once the locking latch has been released, you'll lift the tablet arm into the upright position. While the tablet arm is upright, press down on the mounting bracket latch to secure the tablet arm, like this. Use the Allen key to remove the spring retaining bolt, like this. Remember, you'll repeat this on the left side. In this step, it is really important to make sure that the springs and the bolt holes are aligned. Once they're lined up, insert the retaining bolt through both loops, like this. Next, to secure the spring retaining bolt, tighten it like this. Now that the springs are secure on both sides, make sure you test the tension and resistance, like this. The right amount of tension and resistance means that you'll get the safest and most effective workout with your rower. Now you're ready to attach the tablet to the mounting arm. As you slide the tablet onto the mounting arm like this, make sure the speakers are at the bottom. Use the 8-inch Allen key to secure the tablet in place. It's time to assemble the wires on your rower. You'll attach these two wires from the arm to the back of the monitor. This separate wire will be inserted into the two ports on the back of the monitor. And this wire gets attached to the side of the tablet arm. Before you start preparing to fill the tank, securely fold away the tablet like this. This is how you'll prepare for filling your tank. First, find the pump and the purification tablets. Second, you'll find the level gauge sticker. The level gauge is here, underneath the tank, between the two wooden subrails. This is calibration level 17. You'll find it on the sticker. Take out the tank stopper. You'll find it here, between the top and bottom decks, above the tank. You're ready to start filling the tank with water. First, turn the knob clockwise, like this, to close the siphon valve. Then position your water source above the tank stopper hole. Next, squeeze the pump four to five times to start the water siphon flow. Fill up the tank to level 17. Then turn the knob counterclockwise to complete the siphon flow. Finally, remove the siphon. The tank stopper should still be open. Now add one purification tablet to the water. Remember to replace the stopper. Now you're ready to power up. Hold down the power button like this to power up your tablet. Next, connect your tablet to your Wi-Fi network. Once you're connected, log into your CityRow Go account. If you don't have an account, you can easily set one up like this. Welcome to the crew. Post a selfie with your assembled rower and share it on Instagram. Remember to tag CityRow. Come check out this and other products at our showroom in San Diego or online at www.fitdir.com.